With Helm's blessing. And here we go. We are going to hit the forest region here. As you will. And this one's mostly populated by gnolls, but we get some wolves to start. That's the first thing on the slaughter menu. And we're getting a little bit tired, so that's a bit of an issue. Because uh, my character's thakers will get a little bit lower, which means that they don't hit as often. And hitting things is already kind of a problem for us. So, that's no good. Uh, but we make it through the wolves okay, it looks like. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. There we go. And we're going to try and do a silly thing and rest, which we successfully did. And now we find this cave here, and it's got a dire wolf outside of it. We have to be careful about said dire wolf, because dire wolves are serious business. And yeah. it kills Minsk. That's good. So we're going to reload, and... Because Minsk needs to come to the stronghold. So we're going to rest. Oh, gnolls. These are special kinds of gnolls. As you can see, they're sort of like the thieving variety of gnolls, if I'm not mistaken. And we should get through them fairly easily. Ajantus is very hurt. Time to do the lay on hands. And we're going to give him a little bit of cure light wounds, too. And he just keeps taking damage, you but there we go. We made it through alive. We'll have Nira pick up their loots. And we find a unique scroll, and it has a riddle about a, a table, or a chair, rather, sorry. And uh, that scroll's sort of found throughout the game. Uh, it's just a random drop, and the scroll itself is worth 100 gold, so it's just supposed to be sort of like an Easter egg. I actually played this game for years without having seen that. And uh, it just started showing up recently for me. Or it could just be I was I was young and I was like, a scroll. Like, I'm going to pick that up. So, and that may be why I never really came to contact with it. So, we already know kind of what we're doing here. We're going to go down and we're going to see Mr. Dire Wolfie. And hopefully not let Minsk get, set, get absolutely slaughtered by him. Uh, enemies in this version, it seems, tend to aggro whatever they see first. Just by sight. And so as long as we can assure that Ajantis is the first person that they see, we can kind of keep things under control and reasonable. As you will. And life will be okay. So now we're going to head inside of this cave here. I fear caves in general, As you will. but I think this one is empty. It says auto pause enemy sighted, but there are will. no enemies. So we're going to go ahead and have Imowen check the I'm box gone. that we find here and make sure that things are okay. It appears that there's no trap here, so we're going to get into it. And you get some gold, a necklace, and a halberd that is a halberd Hell plus one. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to give that to Kaivin yeah. for later use because he's proficient with halberds. And then we'll walk on down around here. We're looking for a waterfall because there's a quest regarding a cat uh, that's has to do with the waterfall and it's easiest to do it this way. I may be incorrect about this too, but if if you want to hunt for Easter eggs, I think if you kill the squirrels in this area, some of them will drop a stone that says plus one to luck. You don't actually get anything out of it. The cat's pretty wet and devoid of all forms of life. So that's a dead cat. And this walk along... Head on up the, and here's a winter wolf, something to be afraid of. But their pelts are worth 500 gold if you take them to the guy in Nashkel, the store owner in Nashkel. So that's nice. I'm willing to take the risk for that. And we get the pelt. And it gives us almost 1,000 experience, which is much appreciated. And so you'll find like a hill up here and then a walkway. 
and you just walk along underneath the waterfall. There's really nothing up by the waterfall that I'm aware of, and you find this little girl. She says her cat's lost, and it fell down the the waterfall, and she'll have her dad resurrect it when we you present her with the cat, path. is what she says there. And you, if you are above 14 in reputation, you'll get the reputation point added on. So... If we had evil party members now, we would start. They would start to get irritable. Um, you, there's, there's really nothing up here to worry about. So we're just gonna walk back down. Uh, I, I see kind of a theme, where in the previous region there was a little boy that had lost his dog, and here's a little girl that had lost her cat. But, uh, you know, whatever. I'm happy for content. So, and this is from the original game, of course, so. And now we're going to walk back up and around, uh, because we missed a little something that was near where we came in, and we'll take care of it now. It's up by the Direwolf Cave, so. So far, so good. I've had to reload a bit because Minsk is a little underpowered, and normally, I think on a regular playthrough, that wouldn't be a big deal. But since we're taking double damage from everything, he gets one shot by, like, everything in the game. So, that's pretty tough. So we see these two guys up here. They're wanting to cut down a tree. This dryad asks us to stop them from cutting down the tree. I'm going to be a nice guy and prevent them from cutting down the tree. You can go along with it and cut down the tree, in which case I don't believe you find any treasure. I always enjoyed that voice actor. But, uh, yeah, so long story short, you cut the tree down, you don't get anything, you kill the dryad, you get some XP for having killed the dryad. Uh, but we're just going to knock out these guys first because they're kind of weak, if I remember correctly. He runs away straight off the bat. Ajantus is in trouble. Surely they won't hit him again. I'm I'm gonna use my He'll use his lay on hands. Oh my uh. Okay, so we get to do that again because we can't really walk back to Nashkel at this point without it being a major hassle. So, we're just going to go all through it, all over again. So we'll rack up a death count. Okay, so, same strat. So we're going to take out the other brother first. Oh no, Ajantis. Ajantis! Stay alive. Oh, ho, ho. All right, attempt number three. These guys aren't joking around. They are difficult to fight. Again, I don't remember them being this difficult. I'm also trying to preserve my spells so that we don't have to rest when we go to the Null Stronghold. But we may have to. There, he, the other brother dies right away because my archers actually hit stuff. Kaivin takes a little bit of damage. We're going to pull him out, and there we get him. You get a girdle that gives you blunt damage resistance, a plus one club, and some junk armor. And then you talk to the dryad. She says thank you and sends you on your way, and you get another reputation point. So, if you're playing a more neutral party, then, you know, you may want to avoid doing that that way. The reason I'm playing on the good end is mainly for the prices. Uh, and because I, I like this game in the game world, so I don't really feel like being a dick to everybody. And here are some gnolls. Now, Minsk does extra damage to Gnolls, just as a special note, because Rangers get a favorite enemy, and they're his favorite enemy. So, we'll just loop through them. 
They just carry gold. This one has a scroll, it looks like. No, just gold. And we'll continue on because there are some more gnolls that are a little bit more beefy, shall we say, right here. They ask that we pay a toll and of 50 gold in tribute, and I say, no thank you, so we're just going to knock them out. And they're angry and, of course, want to fight with us. And he, we cut down the leader. So things are going okay. Oddly enough, there's the two hillbilly guys that want to cut down that tree gave us way more trouble than any of these monsters. And that one explodes into Gibbs, so that's good. Oh, they've all got necklaces too, so that's interesting. And quite a bit of gold, really, for what they are. So a couple hundred gold there, really. And then we'll walk out and see if we can't get another exit grid just while we're here. For our own benefit. As you will. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we got the next forest region on up near the coast. And we'll walk out here. There's one more encounter that I'd like to show just because it's out here. And since this is sort of a walkthrough, oh, we got another wolf here. It's a dread wolf, and it goes down pretty easy. It gives us 600-ish experience. So not a big deal. So you find a, a knoll that's a disenfranchised knoll. And that's about the end of, you know, the, the special content that isn't a random encounter in this forest region. And here he is. If you go to the fortress, go there to conquer. Okay. That was the plan. Thank you very much. So now we need to find the exit grid to the fortress, but there's all these rocks in the way. And the only way to do it is to go all the way back up to the tippy top of the map. And there's a winter wolf here, so that's not bad. I'm happy with that. It's pointing at a bad character. Oh, uh. yeah. Okay, so we're back, and we're going to just say, screw the laughing gnoll, and we're going to walk on out of here with our boots. Not a bad choice, really, if you ask me. My blade will cut you down to size. And another winter wolf. Well, whatever, you know. He must just be hanging out here. You gotta worry about winter wolves in pretty much all of these forest regions. Normally, they're not that big a deal, but because of the double damage, they're a pretty big deal, as is pretty much everything that we're gonna fight ever. So... There we go, we're healed up, ready to move, and we will be heading off to the Knoll Stronghold, where we will rescue Minsk's uh, f witch friend, Dianera, and I hope to see you there.